Hello again. Today's segment, I'm gonna show y'all how to make copycat red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. To get started, I'm gonna show y'all the ingredients that are involved. Here, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add all the dry ingredients first. So here are the dry ingredients in a particular order. I've got a tablespoon of sugar here. Had a little blank there for a moment. <laughs> and then I have a tablespoon of baking powder. Followed by, I have garlic powder here. This is two teaspoons. Then I've got a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Put that in. And we're gonna mix this together pretty well. And we'll follow up with our wet ingredients, which are, this is a half cup of melted unsalted butter. And in this bowl here, I have a cup of buttermilk. I'm gonna add the butter to the buttermilk. Mix that a little bit. And then I'm gonna get my cheese ready. I've got a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese here. I'm gonna add this in to our flour mixture. And then the cheese. I don't know if any of you are Schitt's Creek fans, but we're gonna fold the cheese into the flour now. And just so you know, this is folding. And once all of this is fully incorporated, I'm gonna flour our surface here and I'm gonna roll our dough out so we can start cutting out our biscuits. Lightly floured surface here. We're just gonna kind of push it together three or four times. We don't wanna overwork it, obviously. And then I will roll it out into a one and a quarter inch thick rectangle and it should yield us about 10 to 12 biscuits. And while I'm doing all this, I'm gonna start our oven at 450 degrees so it's preheated and ready to go once we're done with this process. All right, I've got 12 biscuits here. The oven's preheated at 450 degrees. I'm gonna bake these for 12 minutes and then afterward, I'll see you for the final basting of the butter. Twelve minutes later, look at that, y'all. Literally, in under 30 minutes, I made copycat red lobster cheddar bay biscuits in the comfort of my own kitchen. And now you can too.